autoflower versus feminized seeds. What's the difference? Disclaimer, this content is for adults 21 plus and intended for educational and documentary purposes only. Viewers are responsible for knowing and following all local laws regarding cannabis, cultivation, and use. We do not encourage or promote illegal activities. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most common questions new growers have. What's the difference between autoflower and feminized seeds? If you've ever browsed seed banks and got lost between these two options, stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one suits your grow best. Let's start with feminized seeds. These seeds are bred to produce only female plants, which are the ones that grow those beautiful, resin-rich buds we all want. In nature, cannabis can be either male or female. Males produce pollen, while females produce the flowers. But if a male plant sneaks into your grow, it can pollinate the females, and that means seedy buds and lower yields. That's why feminized seeds are so popular. They take the guesswork out of growing. Every seed you plant turns into a productive female. So, if you're looking for maximum yield and you want total control over your grow, feminized seeds are a great choice. Now, let's talk about autoflower seeds. These come from a special subspecies called Cannabis ruderalis, a hardy plant that evolved in colder regions with short summers. Unlike feminized or regular seeds that rely on light cycles, 18 hours of light for growth and 12 hours for flowering, autoflowers don't care about that. They automatically start flowering after a few weeks, usually around 3 to 4 weeks after sprouting. That's why they're called autoflowers. They're fast, simple, and perfect for beginners or anyone who wants multiple harvests in a single season. So, here's a quick comparison. Autoflowers bloom automatically. Feminized seeds need a change from 18 sixths to 12 twelfths, light cycle to flower. Autoflowers are faster about 10 to 12 weeks total. Feminized plants usually take 16 to 20 weeks. Autoflowers are smaller and stealthier. While feminized plants grow, taller, and yield more. Autoflowers are improving but still tend to yield a bit less. Feminized plants usually produce higher yields and stronger buds. Autoflowers are beginner-friendly. Feminized seeds are for those who want more control and bigger results. So, which one's right for you? If you're a new grower, short on time, or just want something easy, go with autoflowers. They're quick, resilient, and you can grow multiple harvests per year. But if you want maximum yield, potency, and control, and you're okay with a bit more patience, feminized seeds are the way to go. And that's the difference between autoflower and feminized seeds. Thank you for watching. If this video helped, please don't forget to like and subscribe.